Now, Jola, talking about your and Ashwini's match, mm -hmm. what do you think at the Olympics, of course, like hard luck? I've never depended on luck. We couldn't deliver on that particular day. What have you done, Jwala, apart from colouring your hair and painting your nails? And I'm like, okay, what have I done? People are asking you that on social media. Yeah, what have I done? Are you gonna look at, say, another Olympics? <laughs> oh my god. If I ask you right away, would you be able to name like two other players who you think can come up to your level? No, nobody. I'm being very truthful. And I would challenge anybody to come and contradict me right now. This whole TOP controversy and then I, I do know that... What was the controversy, Rupam? Did I create a controversy? No, I did not. We never had a car, we never had four-wheeler. Till, till I was 18, I never had a four-wheeler. We used to travel um, 100 kilometers on Priya scooter. My dad, uh, dad's salary was 5,000, you know, take-home salary was 5,000 rupees and our house rent was 5,000 rupees. So I practice eight hours a day, like how you work eight hours a day. But after eight hours a day, I have a life. Mm -hmm. Why can't I meet my friends? Why can't I party? Why can't I go to a club? Is it wrong? And this is what I like about Western is because there, there nobody questions. Just as a conclusion, Joala, just uh, tell me where do you see the uh, future of overall sports in India? Hello I Dream viewers, today we are at Shuttler Joala Gatta's place to have an exclusive chat with her. Joala has just returned from Rio after playing in the Olympics and has a lot to tell us about her experiences there. So let's just get started. Welcome Joala to the show. Thank you. So you've just come back from Rio, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, how's the experience been there? Um, we went like way ahead of our tournament, uh, you know, tournament started, way ahead of our matches, you know, our matches started at uh, on 11th and we reached there on 3rd. Right. And uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty exciting actually uh, because it was my first time to attend any inaugural, you know, I've been to so many games, Commonwealth Nation Games and Olympics the last time. But I've never attended the inauguration. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I was I was pretty excited to uh, you know join the Indian team for the inaugural. Right. Now badminton, you know, it's a first like Sindhu's comeback yeah. with silver and badminton, you yeah. know, uh, the nation like she brought in the nation to stand still watching the match. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. So you I was I was watching it here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You were back. Yeah, I was back. Yeah. So I was watching her. Yeah. Right. And I also spoke to her after. Oh, you did. Yeah. You did. So yeah. what was that first thing? What was the exchange like? What did you tell her? What did she tell you? No, we were uh, well. I congratulated her. Uh, we're very good friends. Yeah, so yeah. you know, she FaceTimed me and. Uh, uh, after a couple of hours in midnight over there, midnight over there, right. and uh, she was very happy. Uh, sure. I was very happy for her, and uh, she's a very sweet girl, you mm. know. And uh, yeah, so I was just telling her my, about my observation in the game, okay. you know, what she could have done in the finals, and which are. Um, I thought uh, I thought she could have attacked a little more. Uh, and I think uh, she became defensive and Carolina started attacking more and that's where, you know, she lost a couple of points. Yeah, do you think also like she was good with mind games, Marin? No? Marin's always been like that yeah. and uh, it was not Sindhu's first. So I don't think uh, that should have, but I think the whole strategy uh, and obviously I think Marin has played She's number one in the world and uh, she, I feel uh, experience wise, she, mm -hmm. she has played at that top level, you know, more, more yeah. than Sin right, right. Sindhu. So yeah. I think she was able to control her nerves better than Sindhu. Yeah, but the fact that, you know, it's badminton, like you are a shuttler and badminton has got this silver must be, it must be a feeling like, like unity and your badminton has won it. It's, I think it, uh, Sindhu, what she has achieved, uh, it's not only for badminton, I think the uh, women's sports in India, 
uh, I've always said this that we live in a male dominated society and I've always said that that a lot of women sports person are achieving more than the guys right, right now right. and uh, I think Sakshi and Sindhu have uh, you know done it done 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 it again you know women have again you know uh, achieved far more than the the guys i don't i hope they don't hate me right now <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i'm trying to exactly, say exactly so, yeah, yeah yeah i'm in not fact, being a sexist uh, over here yeah so. no in fact it was a talking point uh, this time you know a lot of girls deepa sindhu sakshi you know a lot of girls uh, and their stories also you know how they have like pushed themselves and you know been there and finally achieved so yeah so i get your point you know also, i yeah. think uh, Every athlete pushes themselves. Every athlete sacrifices. It's just that yes, Deepa, Sindhu, the focus. You know, sometimes uh, uh, only few individuals are able to uh, grab that attention. Uh, but it will be really unfair if I say that only these three, or few, or you know. Uh, uh, only few have been able to push their boundaries. I think every athlete who goes to the Olympics does that. Yeah. Uh, in our in our country, especially in India, forget the Olympics. Even to take up sports, to make that decision to take up sports as a profession, that takes a lot of courage. Especially for girls. Especially, I think anybody right now, because as I said, we're not from a sporting country, and we we still look at sports as a hobby mm. you know fitness ke liye pehle bachon ko fitness ke liye start karo you know we don't put, put our children um, or introduce our children uh, to sports as a career option right right you know what i'm trying yeah, to say yeah 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 so it you get you get serious only when they start performing maybe a little bit and then you're like okay yeah let's then just, the parents yeah. are like okay my you know yeah yeah but that's really unfair. Right. And so so I, it's not there from the foundation, from the base level. Because we don't have that kind of a system. And I think the government needs to build that kind of a system where every parent also feels secure. You know, uh, children, well, children being children, they would always like to, you know, go out, have fun and, you know, play some sport and they still want to do it whether they lose or win, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. They, as long right. as they are having fun yeah. but it's the parents who need the security and that affirmation saying that you know sports is a great career option you will your life will be settled or you can earn your bread and butter from sports which i feel a lot even now uh, if you act, just uh, take up badminton because badminton is poorly paid sport and if you just take badminton, I would still not recommend anybody to, uh, you know, depend only on badminton for their bread and butter. It's that's very difficult. A, that's quite a strong statement. No, that that's true. That's true, yeah. You know, that's see, what I mean, yeah. See, Sindhu has won the Olympics and then a lot of, yes. you know, incentives yes. are being announced or cash prize, no, right. you know, she's won. But to go to that level, how do you manage? Right. Yeah. Or who support unless someone is actually supporting you otherwise mm -hmm. there there are so many badminton players who are wanting to achieve what sindhu has achieved yeah. but they don't have the facility or they don't have the financial support right yeah. so so that is what needs to be looked into yeah the and government taken care of. the government the private corporate sectors need to right. come up and take up take up, you know there's so many corporate say my I would say that there's so many corporate uh, mm -hmm. sectors, you know, there's so many industrialists, there's so many, uh, you know, first the government needs to make this strong regulation. If you support at least one sport in our country, mm. you know, your, you know, we'll probably give you a, a you know, a, a benefit in income tax. Mm -hmm. You know, then the corporate some some incentives even for the corporate company who want to support sports. Right, right. You know, they can. There are a lot of ways to do it, mm. but you have to do it. Exactly. Now, Jola, talking about your and Ashwini's match, mm. what do you think at the Olympics? Of course, like hard luck. Oh, uh, hard luck, as in you know. Uh, 
We, I mean, I know how much you wanted it, like any other player, obviously. Obviously, obviously, you know, nobody yeah. wants to lose. Exactly. Um, we, we, somewhere we fell short. Mm-hmm. Unlucky, as in, you know, not like we never depended on luck. I, at least me, I've never depended on luck. And unlucky, as in, yes, we could have done it. I wouldn't say we had a tough, I will not say I had a tough draw. I will not say I had tough opponents and that's why we couldn't do it. Uh, we just couldn't. We couldn't deliver at that particular uh, day, on that particular day. We, we couldn't do it. We wanted to, you know, we obviously wanted to. We were, um, well, I worked really hard, really, really hard. Uh, for past five months, the only thing I did was play badminton and train for badminton. It, it was crazy. I, and my parents were like, whoa, Jwala, what are you doing? I'm like, I just want to do it. Just let me do it. You know, I was not thinking about anything. And just about, you know, it was just about about making it there, you know, but we couldn't, we couldn't. Yeah, yeah. must have felt, must have hurt really. Why I ask this because I remember after the London Olympics, um, you had said that, you know, you really wanted to get a medal and if you would have got a medal, you would have probably, you know, thought about quitting. Mm. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, uh, this must be like four years down the line, this must be it. Like, you know, you must have waited for it. So, it must have really hurt. Um, Hurt as in, yeah, I felt a little, um, I was a little disappointed, but you know, there are no regrets. I never regret Mm -hmm. and uh, I think I gave it my all, you know, I worked really hard, you know, I don't, uh, but it's, it's a sport, you know, I I would know sports better than anybody else. So we lose some, we win some and I just have to take positives from here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you gonna look at say another Olympics? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> because I know how much you want that medal. You know, you said it after London that like you won that medal and you went again. Like I said, you were almost on the verge of quitting and you pushed yourself. You went again for Olympics. I I don't know really. You know, and and you also know I'm not a planner. Yeah. So, I really don't know. <laughs> But I will quit when I want to quit. I will not. I will quit on on my own own terms. I will not quit just because others think I cannot play or, you know, or uh, I or I should quit. You know, I will quit when I want to quit. And I'm I'm still I'm not injured. You know, I still don't have any injuries. Yes, aches and pains are you know are part of our lives. But I'm still not injured. I'm I'm fine. So I think I'll I'll continue playing till I'm still enjoying badminton now. Since you mentioned injury, I'll just uh, mention it here only. In the Olympics, you mm. were playing with an injury, mm. right? You were like uh, you were playing in I pain. I think it, my my right knee is trub- was troubling me for quite some time now. Right. So, so I tape my knee. I tape my knee and play. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is something like you know. Uh, do you think um, the infrastructure in the uh, you know in India this also needs to be look, looked at you know at the fitness levels of sports people how injuries need to be taken care of. Saina also played with injury. You played with injury, and you know and you're going to Olympics. You know. So if there is a system in place to take care of uh, sports you people, you know that you think? the whole the whole I think. Uh, it's just not about we don't have a proper knowledge about sports medicine right. we we have not explored that mm. or we have not encouraged that part of uh, the the you know the profession sports medicine which is if you see um, well i was in the village and the, Bra- the the brazil team was staying right opposite us the whole of the first floor was for physiotherapy mm. and uh, the kind of um, uh, facilities what their uh, the other you know country were giving their athletes were, were tremendous and that's why they expect a medal from their right. athletes they had a inflated uh, tub uh, in which the players after a hard session 
they would come and sit in the tub with ice so mm. that's ice bath so they recover for next day mm. that's so much thought is put in making sure that the athlete has not doesn't have to worry about anything you know uh in 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 india or with us it's really difficult to compare what kind of uh facility we get it, the, there is no thought towards the uh, welfare of the athlete right. you know deepa yes she's done well yes she's our indian and our uh, what girl child yeah. you know no bharat ki beti but what have we done for gymnastics so far yeah you know gymnastics doesn't figure in priority uh, sports in our country right so th- these kind of things the basically you have to make an effort like the smallest things i've seen the other countries the smallest things are taken care of right i can't even begin to you'll be shocked like um, the athletes are given uh you know the smallest thing let me be very shallow okay uh the other the countries you know were given uh, sweat pants sweat shirt sweat shorts for them to be comfortable in cotton you know i don't like wearing synthetic it's it when because you sweat so much you know the sports persons don't like to wear a lot of uh, you know synthetic clothing you mm-hmm. know it, it's 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 not pleasant on your skin so it was very hot also in brazil right. so they got cotton stuff to wear okay. and then the weather forecast was rain they got rain coats from their you know uh, team right you know and the smallest thing they were taken care of yeah over here we don't think we we don't put in the effort to think is what i'm trying to say exactly if you put in that it just takes a little effort to think okay what a normal person would need right a sports person a, a normal person would need a proper you know uh, if you want the indians to be in a uniform you know you we need to give them casual slippers you know we need to give them uh you know if uh, our contingent had uh, what 120 30 athletes so they should have been at least 20 physios in line to you know take care of but that doesn't happen how many were there for us well for us there were two physios for badminton okay yeah but yeah that's <laughs> another story but but yeah all right mm-hmm. okay Also uh, Jawala you and Ashwini mm. are the only women's double badminton player in mm. India mm. and it's only you two that have been who've been to tournaments you know brought medals and all and it's the two of you obviously who's gone to olympics now um, like we were talking if you see it in a very positive context of course you all deserve to be there but isn't it a sad thing that it's only you and ashwini who sad. always has to you know go there and fight it oh it's very sad it's very sad i i really want that the doubles in india should grow but uh, and i think uh, if people think well pe- that's why i keep i don't know i for me you know i get very emotional this way uh when i see my social media uh, you know people tend to forget very easily so the latest question what i have been hearing is what have you done jwala apart from coloring your hair and painting your nails and i'm like okay what have i done people are asking you that on social media yeah what have i done and i'm like dude um go have a look maybe before you asking me this question or you probably want to have a conversation with me i don't know or maybe asking for attention and that's why probably you posting but it's sad isn't it yeah uh ashwini and me are the only doubles uh, i've been world number 6 in mixed doubles last year i was world number 10 in spite of having such good ranking 
which nobody ever could dream of in in doubles event in our country i've achieved those rankings i've played two olympics i'm the only indian who's ever qualified for mixed doubles and doubles two events in olympics so there are a lot of firsts which i have achieved and um, i don't think it'll take me a long time to probably read out my uh, wins and uh, you know achievements uh, but in in spite of all of that i've never been encouraged i've never had sponsors uh leaning has um, uh, been my only constant uh, apparel sponsor apart from this we've never had any uh, sponsor um after we were world number 10 last year we were taken in tops after world being world number 10 after that uh, ogq came in to you know support ashwini and me so my point is we are here uh, despite of the system and it takes a lot of courage not only uh, from ashwini and me even for our parents to withstand with us like like just to stand with us and support our decisions to you know take up sports or continue with sport it takes a lot of courage so what would you say uh, needs to be changed in order to bring up uh, you know the doubles players so that's what i'm trying to say uh, even after having such amazing ranking i was it, it single digit ranking even in singles is huge right, right? yeah uh, but the singles players start getting uh, support when even if they are 15 or 20 in the world because we see a potential okay she's 20 mm. or he's 20 so now if we support them they will go to top 10 So why don't we think about doubles the same way? So you mean the same kind of support is not Ask, there even if you re- no, reach a single ranking? No, obviously not. And that that's my only that's that's the only thing which makes me sad. And now it's just not about me, you know. I'm an already established player. Uh, nobody can take away what I have achieved really. Uh, no matter what anybody says. Yeah. I don't uh, really care you know that way I am a very confident uh, person and I have I'm a very proud person proud of what I have achieved but what about uh, players who uh, are looking up to me and they look at me and like uh, well Jwala did not get after achieving what she has achieved so why should we even look at doubles right now so if but if we don't have doubles then who will play in the Uba Cup or uh, sudhir man cup and mm-hmm. we're winning bronze just ashwini and me were well, uh, just having ashwini and me we're winning bronze over there so imagine if we had two other pairs with us we would have been more we would have been a stronger uh, indian badminton contingent if i ask you right away would you be able to name like two other players who you think can come up to your level yours and ashwini right now Yeah, no, nobody. So, I'm, I'm so, being, so that's the. Stage. I'm being very truthful, and I would challenge anybody to come and contradict me right now. Right. Nobody. I I stopped playing mixed doubles after London. What has been the result, really? Yeah. Who qualified for Olympics in mixed doubles? Hmm. Nobody. And so, I'm not being proud about it. I'm right. I'm stating the facts. Right. Right. I know it might sound oh Jwala look at how she's being you know oh you know she's talking about and boasting about herself that uh you know she's the only mixed doubles player but that's the truth I was world number 6 I played the olympics in mixed doubles now when I stop playing you know people say that you know Jwala you should stop playing and give uh youngsters a chance I did not play mixed doubles I think I left the mixed doubles. They should have been a younger team to participate in Olympics and we didn't. So I why ask me to stop playing or why ask me to give way for youngsters when there are no youngsters when there is no system for doubles in our country. So why do you think Jwala there is no encouragement or support? I have no idea. Hmm. I have no idea. I wish I knew that, you know. And I seriously would want to work 
now maybe uh, if if the association says that jwala we need you and we need your advice i would definitely want to help you know i i really want would want because doubles when we when we won the commonwealth games we won the 32nd gold so our gold is also accounted it's just not the singles players right right yeah so why why aren't we paying any attention towards doubles and we you know manu sumit uh, um, till half till till september last year they didn't have any support either they were playing tournaments at their own cost and that they at their own cost then they qualified for olympics okay so they playing on their own and then qualifying for olympics and you expect them to win a medal and when they don't win oh they're a huge disappointment yeah Right. You're also a very outspoken person, Jawala. Like no, that's every, why I think oh, that, you know. That's why I think I suffer the most. <laughs> uh, yeah. That everybody knows now. Now all these things, and you know, you being very outspoken about. You, you speak your mind, what you think, and you speak. And um, you know, the whole uh, TOP controversy, like your name was not included. Because yours. I speak my mind, and I don't really care. Because I'm here with because of my achievements. Yeah. Not because of anything else. Right. So I don't think anybody should, you know, uh, shy away from speaking their mind. We yeah. live in a democratic country. Absolutely. And, yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah. No, what I wanted to ask is, you know, this whole TOP controversy, and then I, I do know that. What was the controversy, Rupam? We were world number ten. Yeah. I was not in top. Your scheme. name was not in that. And scheme, a yeah. person who was not. There were two other people who were not going to qualify for Olympics. They were there in the right. top scheme. Right. So what, did I create a controversy? No, I did not. Right. I fought for my right to be there in the top scheme. Yeah. So what was the controversy? <laughs> right. That me speaking up. No. The, don't we teach our child to speak the truth? Beta jhoot nahi bolte, sach bolna chahiye. But bade hone ke baad bhai, no no no, play diplo, play play a diplomatic card, be nice, theek hai, kabi jhoot bol diya karo, that's okay. No, right. Why why do we act so you know hypocritical? I I really have no idea. My parents have only taught me to uh, you know speak the truth and always they've never. Uh, not once they have questioned me. Okay, Jawar, आज क्यों मुंह खोल दिया तुमने? क्यों बोल दिया कुछ? But that's what we teach our children, right? Since you spoke, you got also. I mean, like you brought it to the fore, so you got included also. Of course, after winning uh, uh, that game, that tournament, yeah. and then you got included. Yeah. No, what I was trying to understand is, it's also like you know. You had to train here. Ashwini had to train in Bangalore. You know all those things that Because you all. Because we didn't have a coach. Yeah. So all those things, all those logistics and things like that, that you had. Three years. Both of yeah. Rupa both of you all had to work since London. Right. After London, yeah. immediately, yeah. I said we didn't have a we don't have a doubles coach. Hmm. भाई doubles coach मांगने पर भी ज्वाला has become a bad, like oh she's so uh, controversial. I'm asking for a doubles coach. How is it controversial? I don't understand. You maybe you're a media person. You you would probably understand what's. Con I don't understand till date what was so controversial about it. Right. Okay. What I was trying to ask you is all these included. Mm -hmm. You know, so you go to Olympics after being through all these things. You know. Well, there are just few of the things which you've named. There are yeah. many, much more. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, there are many more. Yeah. So, does it at some point, you know, play in your head? Like you, you fought. Of you course, have had to right? train your Ashwini has to train of in Bangalore. Of course, right? Yeah, and you because had to fight for a coach, like you said, and yeah. all these things, and so then now, go for Olympics. Let's let's talk about people who have won the medal. Mm. What all they had to go through? I really would like to know. You know, parents. Yes, parents. My parents have also worked hard. My parents. My dad used to try. We never had a car. We never had four wheeler. Till I till I was eighteen, I never had a four wheeler. You know, be, just because I, be, I I was eighteen, I was playing well. My dad didn't want me to, you know, meet with a an accident. Even a small fall could ha, could you know hamper my practice. So he bought me a car. We bought a second hand car. You know, so that I am safe that way. 
but we never had a car we used to travel um, 100 kilometers on priya scooter uh, i can say a lot of things my parents have worked really hard my dad uh, dad's salary was 5000 you know take home salary was 5000 rupees and our house rent was 5000 rupees do do did i say that everybody goes through such hardships yeah. but we talk about people only uh, you know when somebody wins a medal or oh, you know parents everybody every sports person a, a child who is probably playing the state championships even their parents are working hard that's the truth but from there how does the system uh, encourage a player that's very important right that we should talk about you know right and i for me sadly i don't know i want people have always tried to pull me down for no reason or maybe because i speak my mind and that's the only thing i can think about otherwise i don't think i have any personal um yeah because you've become like the face who will speak so how is it wrong don't we tell our child don't we teach our child if you're hungry you should speak otherwise how will i know you're hungry mm. if you're sleepy you should tell your mother then i will put you to sleep or if i don't want you to sleep then i'll find a way but then you have to see it but have you ever felt jwala that it's um, worked against you it's definitely worked against me it's definitely work but but this is me i can't change for nobody you know or maybe now i'll have to start learning or i i i know rupam ye janam mein to hoga nahi <laughs> that i cannot change for you know uh, or i can i definitely cannot change my personality this is my this is in my nature this is my personality maybe next janam maybe i should you know try to be more uh, Uh, to try and sweet talk and stuff but i cannot do it right okay another thing about uh, rio jwala you know tweets and trolls and you know all those things about you know shobha they tweeted that mm. uh, you know uh, the only purpose of players is to go there wasn't you know. that insensitive of course it was yeah and uh, and you were the first one to reply to her tweet and then abhinav <laughs> bindra you and abhinav bindra were the first to yeah. reply yeah but that's the general perception right. of a lot of people mm -hmm. and uh, i had to uh, stand up not just because she was shobha day but that's the general perception exactly of, of many people yeah yeah you know that's what we were talking like you uh, isn't that sad yeah it's very sad it's a sports person in somehow in our country we have this image of a sports person um especially if she's a woman she should be focused she cannot have colored hair she cannot wear makeup she cannot get, have a manicure i i i love nails i i love getting my uh, manicure done so uh, she shouldn't be a, a fashion icon she shouldn't wear make, makeup she shouldn't have colored hair uh why sports yes we practice yes i practice 8 hours a day like how you work 8 hours a day but after 8 hours a day i have a life yeah why can't i meet my friends why can't i party why can't i go to a club uh, is it is it uh, is it something is it wrong and this is what i like about western because there they nobody questions you see all the us athletes they're always wearing makeup right uh, i saw a uh, 100 meters uh, runner she was wearing a pink lipstick <laughs> dude we are women we like yeah, to dress up yeah and yes on court uh, we are sports person badminton player uh, but off court we are normal you yeah, should be allowed to do girl. what you want to do yeah exactly so this is the general who doesn't like to take selfie my dad likes to take selfie what's wrong in that yeah you know uh, he's going with the uh, what do you call that zamane ke sath chal rahe mere daddy he is going to be 60 right now mm -hmm. he's going to retire soon uh, he doesn't really know how to um, handle phone but 
who doesn't like to take selfies so what i like to take selfies so yeah. what's wrong in it that doesn't mean that i'm not focused i think we just i think uh, people just like to be uh, you know very i, I find them hypo i find them hypocrites really. judgmental judgmental nahi they're hypocrites right i'm sure these people these people who are commenting and talking nonsense even including uh, shobha de uh, if you go to her twitter account she likes to take selfies also yeah yeah she does so hum le rahe hain selfie rio aaye kyun nahi le selfie kya kar exactly not everybody gets a chance to go to rio olympics I, yeah. and it's olympics we we've, yeah. we've qualified absolutely we have not buttered our way to olympics we have played we ha- we have played performed and then qualified for olympics there's yeah. a quali- uh, qualification criteria for olympics right we have uh, you know qualified uh, after performing not after taking selfies like who has the best selfie and then we go to olympics no yeah if anything i think she should have questioned the um, uh, sports authority in india or <laughs> the government and what they are doing towards you know bringing up the athletes don't you think so rather than just targeting the athletes straight away i mean like like i was telling you you know we all expect medals out of you all but which is good we, which is good but what have we the, given first no i think expectations are always good like now if federer is my favorite athlete uh i would expect him to win although i have not given anything to him okay you know that kind of an expectation that will only motivate the athletes but fine sometimes sports you lose so now what we lost so we 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 are, we are not bringing our country down we have taken our flag over there we people know that indians have participated in olympics the whole world was watching us we were there right there yeah. so what we lost yes we we couldn't win a medal for the country in a, in this particular olympics but that that shouldn't take away from any athlete everybody has worked hard everybody wants to win yeah in fact a lot of sports people apologize deepa apologized i think that was sad. that was really uh i wouldn't apologize really she needed she needed Nobody to because needs to apologize because Why? i don't think it's a fault that she lost you tell me if 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 a doctor is not able to deliver If somebody dies on a doctor's bed do we really blame doctor no right it's part of the profession yeah he would be sorry yes i am sorry for myself you know i couldn't deliver at the right time i'm I, he, i'm disappointed but not public apology for what but i guess she just got emotional and she no just, she yeah. i'm not just yeah, talking right, about right. her but yeah. people expect it Yeah. We are paying taxes and you people are enjoying Oh yeah, the treat that you were telling me about, right? I'm You're like, paying taxes. Dude, yeah. What what's wrong with you people, you know? I pay taxes. Yeah. I've been paying taxes for past 15 years. How can you Exactly when you should be asking the government to uh you know for proper road, for pro- proper footpath you know you are adjusting near living near a drainage where you know water is just uh, stagnated and you're okay with all the kinds of diseases and then you don't talk about how your uh, you know taxes are being used and you're blaming the athletes really it is it's i think people are just enjoying themselves uh, you know i'm sure that most of them have fake uh account and they don't even put their pictures on it because you know they can say whatever they can and you know get away with it yeah yeah they just being i think it's just being coward yeah yeah and it's, it's, it's really it's, stupid yeah it's it's also a mindset if you see now the players are returning you know you'll get a hero's welcome if you won something and uh, everybody else will forget about you if you've not won anything i mean like why can we not just welcome and say congrats for giving a good fight you know that that's really not there here uh, that's the problem in india like i'm not saying the players are expecting it no, but we could do but it no that's the problem in india you know we we make demigods mm-hmm. but that's also for some time you see for some time but then we forget what we have to do to improve the sport right so yeah 
you know sindhu deserves everything you know she's a sweet child and very sweet girl and um you know as a person i really really admire her she's very down to earth and very very always smiling uh, she deserves everything uh but uh, exactly what you said now uh, you know wh what will motivate her further you know and what will motivate the others how will you motivate the others now that we have a silver for badminton are we going to change the system improve the system for good are we going to plan or is there any thought put into it i don't think so you don't think so we go back to square one after few days after this high especially for doubles i only talk for doubles you know let me just talk about doubles because i i i belong to the doubles community and um i'm a doubles specialist and uh, uh yeah now who will look after doubles do you want to you know do something like do you want to take I charge i definitely and i want to yeah do you want to take charge and i want to take I want to take charge of doubles in our country because there is no one excepting you who can do that. I want to. But the question is will I be allowed to? <laughs> That's the question. Okay. But I want to. Do you want to speak to the authorities? Do you want to speak to BAI? Do you want to speak to the um, uh, top bosses? I think I should sit down. I want to, you know, sit down and write. Huh? Oh yeah. I would like to but i want to take charge you want to write to to the authority okay association and the government okay saying like how i can help in doubles and why doubles um is being neglected or why shouldn't it be neglected it's an important event and you want to say that you want to take charge you want to bring up i want to shame. take charge i think i'm i'm capable of taking charge yeah like i said there is there is nobody else excepting you who can do it yeah i want to do it you are called a double specialist yeah and very good at the net yeah <laughs> but i want i, to I do read it. somewhere uh, somebody had said that you would be um, you could be one of the world's best players in doubles that's what uh, yeah i've i've heard it too <laughs> it feels good it feels yeah. good to know i'm sure Yeah. Yeah. So you want to write that and then take it again. You were also uh, coming up with a stadium, right? What what's happening with that? As I said when you want to do something good really, you yeah, know. Yeah. And we live in as I said, that we live in male dominated society. You know, and you want to do something good, there'll be a lot of hurdles. Lot of hurdles. And it's not easy to do something good. So you're facing hurdles in terms of establishing the uh, academy. I've not faced. I've. I. I won't say I've faced direct hurdles okay. really, but I've not been encouraged either. What kind of encouragement are you looking at? Financial or both? Financial and infrastructure. Badminton needs an infrastructure. And where are you looking at for these kind of support? Where as in which city? No, as in who are you looking at? Like in from terms the of government, sponsors. from the association, you okay. know, the private corporate companies. So you you mean to say they are they've not been very very responsive? No, or? no, not really. Do you see it happening? I see it happening uh, in few years. Or do you think is it because we already have a damn good academy? Why 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 don't we believe in healthy competition really? Why should there be only one academy why can't we have more number of academies you know why why what's wrong in it and Let's you want it and you wanted the specially for doubles i would encourage doubles you know but why can't we have number of academies why just one right you know what's wrong in having uh, do we have just one it company <laughs> or do we have just one hospital do we have just one college we have to compete let's compete have a healthy competition has the association or you know the officials have ever approached you for no. um, you know taking charge or uh, no. you know you you 
bring up no, no never? they wouldn't right i speak my mind mm. that's the problem so yeah no they yeah. haven't <laughs> right yeah oh. so what next jala what are you looking at now i don't know really uh uh see see oh i'm going to start playing mixed doubles oh you are yeah. oh okay yeah. with uh with manu oh yeah you've made up your mind on that made up my mind i also send the entry but i i didn't have the energy to go for another tournament right away no is this also because uh when you left uh, mixed doubles after london there was nobody who took it up no uh yeah and i thought that it, it's it's my favorite event Okay. One of my uh, like I enjoy playing mixed doubles. Okay. So and uh, Ashwini and me are planning to take a break. Okay. It's it's the same kind of thing that you had an arrangement after the London Op- Olympics. Remember? Uh, you had told her to look for a partner. No, but uh, right now uh, I've played women doubles for quite some time now. So I want to play mixed doubles. So do you want to like? I Ask think Ashwini to look for another partner and play with somebody else. I think she wants to play mixed doubles too. Too. Okay. And uh, what's going to happen to women's doubles then? I don't know. She'll probably she'll play with someone. Okay. Yeah, but I I'm not going to play women doubles right now. Not for the time being or you're not going to play? I don't know. For right now the decision is to play mixed doubles. Okay. Yeah. So I haven't planned. Right. Yeah. And but and Manu and you have had a chat and made up your mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have we have been practicing together also. So yeah. Right. Quite some time. We've been practicing for quite some time. It's just that I didn't want to play mixed doubles before Rio. You know, I was focusing on women doubles, but uh, yeah. All right. Just as a conclusion, Jwala, just uh, tell me where do you see the uh, future of overall sports in India? unless the things will unless things change it's going to remain the same you uh, mean the celebrations are today and tomorrow they forgotten types celebrations are today yes we should celebrate the medals which yes. we have won whether right. one or two it's very important for our country yeah uh, it's very important for us also as sports person we need this you know we need this motivation but the system has to change and everybody needs to put in an effort to change the system and you are going to be vocal as ever in doing your bit for the, that <laughs> i think so and somebody needs to speak isn't it yeah you know but why even you know this is what i don't understand when abhinav bindra speaks <laughs> oh yeah you know it's taken so positively but when i say the same thing you know uh jwala is being controversial i don't understand the uh discrimination really over here it's because because i'm really tall and uh, i have colored hair and i put some makeup on is that it or is it because uh, you speak more often than him is it i think he speaks more bluntly than me he is mo- he is very upright and very straightforward but i think it's because i'm i'm a woman and i'm not supposed to speak who is that it which indi- i think independent women who who are very opinionated are not encouraged that's what i think but like you said you'll remain what you are you can't change in this life i don't think i can you know you shouldn't yeah you 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 want to deal with me deal with me i'm ready to you know have a conversation and you know let's find a solution sit and find a solution or you want to criticize me again and again well that's up to you but i i can't how can you change a personality really you know and and what have i spoken which is wrong is what i would like to know you know tell me if i'm wrong somewhere bring me you know argue with me i always welcome my father always welcomed a healthy argument and i come and argue with me you know let's argue and have a healthy conversation yeah you know people don't convert don't want to converse with me and i don't know why probably because you debate well <laughs> but how am i wrong in it yeah. and how how am i less deserving 
just because I speak my mind. That's not fair. I think uh, uh, I think a lot of times, uh, you know, a lot of people have been really unfair to me. I can say that. Because I've done nothing but play and win for our country. I've done nothing else. I, I don't know how to play politics. I certainly don't know how to play politics. You know, I've always spoken for my right and I think people should speak for their right. First, I think people should know their rights. And the right is to speak up for yourself. And I know my rights very well. So I don't think I've gone wrong anywhere. Good, yeah. We should probably have a chat after you've written that letter to the association Definitely. and their reply and we should chat again. I'm just ready. To, see, I want to help. Right. You know, uh, there are a lot of ways to, you know, become famous or, you know, be in news or uh, earn money. You know, if I had to earn money, I don't think I would have taken badminton for sure. You know, badminton is not well paid sport, you know, uh, we, we don't get good prize money and, you know, that's been in debate for a very long time. But yeah, so I'm doing it because I love the sport. I love my event, doubles, and I feel there is a lot of scope, but we are not working towards it. And that's what pains me. Yeah, so you want to do your bit, obviously. Yeah, I right. definitely want to do my bit for the country. Right. Yeah. For, the country. for the country. So let's have a chat after you've written that letter and sure, see the response. Sure. Sure. Thank you so much, Joala, for Thank being you. on the show and being so honest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.